Proving zero equals one always involves dividing by zero, right? That's the only possible way we could do it. Let's say that we've got negative six equals negative six. Maybe weird, maybe random, but I think you'll agree with me. On the left, we're gonna write this negative six as a four minus 10, and on the right, we're gonna write it as a nine minus 15. The reason why I'm doing this doesn't matter yet, just go with me. This is still negative six equals negative six. This four now, we're going to rewrite as two squared, and this nine, we're gonna rewrite as three squared. The 10, on the other hand, we're gonna rewrite as two times five, and the 15 we're gonna rewrite as three times five. But fundamentally, these expressions are still equal. It's still just a way to write negative six equals negative six. Now, this next step is gonna look a little bit weird, but what I want to do is I want to add five halves squared to both sides of this equation. And again, I should be allowed to do that, right? I can add the same thing to both sides of an equation. What that gives us is two squared minus two times five plus five halves squared is equal to to three squared minus three times five plus five halves squared. And again, at this point, if you evaluated everything out, if you typed everything on each side of this equal sign into a calculator, we would still be looking at a proper equation. The two sides would equal each other. They wouldn't be negative six equals negative six anymore. Instead, it would actually say 0 0.25 equals 0 0.25, but still true, right? Now, the reason I chose five halves squared is there's a particular squaring pattern that says if we have some a squared minus two times a times b plus b squared, this is actually the same as a minus b squared. You can see in this sense, essentially what I'm doing is I've set a equal to two, I've set b equal to five halves, and then the part in the middle here, two times five, is actually the same thing as two times two times five halves. Meaning I can rewrite this left side as two minus five halves squared, and this right side as three minus five halves squared. Since both of these sides are being squared, let's go ahead and get rid of the square, and that leaves us with two minus minus five halves equals three minus five halves. Now, if you ask me, it's actually a little bit annoying to have these halves involved here, so let's actually just add the same thing to this equation one more time to get rid of the fractional part. Two minus five halves plus another half, if we like typed that into the calculator, would actually give us back zero, and three minus five halves plus one half would also give us back zero, right? Wait, it actually gives us back one. Zero equals one. Where did I divide by zero?